Here, we would like to hold a Q&A session with Professor Minora and Professor Kibani. So far, we have received a lot of comments and questions, and thank you very much for your interest. While many of the questions have already been answered in the Q&A box, here we have picked up several questions and would like to respond to them with professors. Due to the time limitations, we will try to focus on the questions that most of you may be interested in. Professor Minora and Professor Kibani, so are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first question uh, will go to the Professor Minora. So the question is, how many students are there in College of Science? Yes, we have uh, approximately 300 students in each department in the College of Science, Lick University. And uh, in graduate school, there are around uh, 100 students for the master course and uh, 10 to 15 students for the doctor course. We have uh, 20 or more international students in the College of Science. That's, uh, that's in my answer. Thank you, Professor. OK. And uh, actually, so now I have uh, another question. So uh, which should go to Professor Minora again? OK. Um, this is a question about uh, uh, so a class type of the Adikyo College of Science. So is there any class conducted in English? So uh, would you answer to the question, please? Well, um, unfortunately, most of the classes are uh, con conducted in Japanese at the College of Science. However, we could arrange some courses in English at the graduate course, especially for the doctoral courses. Okay, thank you, Professor. Yeah, actually, so uh, the Professor Minora is, yes, of course, so they can do the uh, English lecture and so the guidance. So, so please, so enjoy the uh, the English atmosphere. So in the Kyo College of Science, so uh, the even in that situation, thank you very much. Okay, so um, I have a uh, uh, few other uh, questions of which should go to the uh, Professor Kibani. Okay, the first question is, what types of undergraduate entrance examinations are available for international students? Thank you, Mr. Fujita. <clears throat> there are two main types. The first is uh, examinations for international students applying to programs offered in Japanese. And the second is the Peace General Entrance um, Examination Application Process, which, as I said earlier, does not include either a written examination or an interview. <clears throat> International student entrance examinations are conducted in the 10 faculties based on document screening. And application requirements are determined for, by each faculty. Uh, in most cases, students will need to submit both an English examination score and a score uh, for a Japanese language exa examination. Uh, either the examination for Japanese university admission for international students, which we heard about earlier, uh, EJU, or uh, the Japanese Language Proficiency Test, JLPT. The score criteria for both examinations differ from faculty to faculty, so please search the university website using the keywords entrance examination for international students for clear uh, directions. The Peace General Admission, uh, ad ad General Entrance Examination is really, as I said, more of an application process, and it's accepting applications for the three academic programs I talked about earlier the uh, uh, PCIC, uh, the Global Program of College of the, the, uh, the Department of Business Law, and the Global Liberal Arts Program. There's no interview, again, for admission. Uh, we introduced the details earlier, but please uh, feel to, uh, free to search using the keyword Peace Program uh, for more information. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. OK, actually, so um, I have another question. So again, uh, for Professor Kibani. So the question is, uh, what scholarships are available for international students at the university? Actually, so um, Professor Kibani already mentioned this, uh, the information in, the, in your presentation, but uh, would you be able to refer to it again? 
Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, the scholarships are divided into two types. The first is for first year uh, students, uh, incoming students, and the second for second year and beyond. Both scholarship types have application criteria, and the recipients are, um, are selected based on those criteria. The, uh, the scholarship available for first year students is called the Rikyo Promising Future Scholarship. It's available both to students taking the entrance, uh, entrance examination for international students and uh, for those taking the Peace uh, General Entrance Examination. However, the scholarship amount differs uh, between those two categories. For those taking the entrance examination for international students, one scholarship will be available in each of the, the 10 faculties. The amount is 300,000 yen per semester for a total of 600,000 yen for the two semesters. For those applying for the Peace uh, General Entrance application process, scholarships will be provided uh, to a total of 10 incoming students, regardless of the program to which they apply, among the three I just described earlier. The amount is 500,000 yen for each semester, which means that students enrolling in September will receive three semesters worth for a total of 1 million, uh, 1.5 million uh, yen, and those applying in uh, April for a total of 1 million yen. For the uh, scholarship for, for the second year and beyond, this uh, scholarship called the Likyo Exceptional Student Scholarship is given annually to students based on their uh, performance. The breakdown of the scholarship is five scholarships at the amount of 800,000 yen uh, per year and 25 scholarships at the rate of 600,000 yen per year. It's a lot of numbers. Again, feel free to go to the website and you will see that information. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. Uh, okay, so maybe uh, we can deal with uh, some more questions additionally. Okay, uh, let's keep going with it. And then another question, this is maybe uh, for uh, Professor Minola again. So actually a certain number of uh, today's participants is, are interested in studying at the uh, uh, College of Science. So um, this, the student, the, uh, yes, are giving us that this question is, uh, saying, I would like to know the features of the departments in College of Science. So, um, would you introduce again the characteristics of the college? Yes, thank you. Um, I'm going to talk about distinct research examples of the College of Science. For example, in the Department of Mathematics, uh, they are working on the encoding and the decoding of our highly advanced cryptography. And uh, in the physics department, they are working on the technology development in planetary science using artificial satellites. For example, um, Hayabusa and so on. In the chemistry course, we are working on the uh, characterization of unknown chemical bonds and its reaction. As for the life science, they are developing of the beta amplification of circular di DNA and so on. Those are the distinct research in our College of Science. Okay, thank you, Professor Minola. Okay, so uh, one more question. Okay, um, this is about the, yes, uh, there are uh, many questions about the uh, uh, application process for peace program. And then so the question is, the, what are the specific application uh, requirements for the peace program? So Professor Kiwani, would you answer to it, please? Thank you, Mr. Pujieda. Um, for this one, if possible, if we could uh, redisplay uh, the 24th slide on my second presentation, that would be helpful um, because the, there's a QR code, and the QR code will take you to the site uh, for, uh, in order to um, uh, to access that. So if you go to that, uh, uh, if you go to that QR code, um, the answer is that the um, that there are different requirements depending on, on the, the uh, kind of education you completed. Uh, specific cr criteria will differ depending on those who uh, completed their education um, in, for example, Great Britain um, in uh, the A levels. Um, the inter, uh, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program, 
the Australian education system, Canadian, Hong Kong, Malaysia, United States. Because they differ uh, from, from country to country, we, we urge you to, to find uh, the website to either using the QR code or just Googling it, and you will find um, the criteria. And again, because the application opened yesterday, we urge you to look at the uh, criteria before applying. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Kibani. Actually, so other than the uh, peace program, so uh, the uh, many of the students are interested in uh, studying at the university in English basis. So, the uh, this is a related question. The, you mentioned that the, there are three English programs at the graduate school. Can you tell us more uh, detail about uh, these programs and degrees? Okay. Mr. Fujita. Yes, for this one, again, if you could go to the, um, the 20th slide on the, um, the slideshow I showed you earlier, you'll find information. Likyo has a great variety of graduate programs, but we do, in fact, have three uh, programs conducted entirely in English. Uh, the first of those is the Master in International Business Program, Graduate uh, School of Business. It's the MIB program. The second, Master of Public Management and Administration course in the Graduate uh, School of Business. Uh, MPMA, and the final one is the Master of Social Development and Administration course in the Graduate Program in Business Administration Network and Social Organization, MSDA. Uh, for the entrance requirements for each program differs, so we, that's why I asked you to, to um, access that uh, um, QR code if you have a chance, and you'll see the details there. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Um, Maybe, so um, this is the uh, uh, final uh, question, I think, so, the, and then this is uh, related to the uh, question about the, uh, the content of the College of Science. So um, the question is, uh, please tell me the details of academic industrial re uh, partnership of the College of Science. So the Professor Minora already mentioned about this a little, but uh, uh, would you be a little bit more specific about it, please? Sure. Um, we are currently associating several companies through the endos research system. Through this system, we are striving to put these great ideas into practice in our daily lives, such as hydrogen gas storage as an alternative and clean energy. Um, of course, we are, I'm, I'm currently working on such uh, uh, associating with uh, private companies. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Um, actually, so um, I'm sorry to tell you about this, but uh, uh, I'm afraid the time is up. So thank you, Professor Minola and Professor Kibani, for answering two questions very kindly and clearly. And so uh, everyone may I have attention, please. So. To express our gratitude to both professors, I would appreciate, appreciate if you could give your warm applause uh, in your mind. Thank you very much. <laughs>